Now, our pharmaceuticals ace reporter, Mike Huckman, joins us with the latest out of that sector. Hey, we got some news here for the first time in a while. A lot of big news today, and I don't know if you caught it, Larry, but in his inaugural address, President Obama said, and I'm quoting him now, we will restore science to its rightful place. Well, some analysts say he already took a big step in that direction today. Because just four days into Obama's term, a small biotech company, Geron, got the FDA okay to do the first ever test on people using embryonic stem cells. The agency under President Bush, who was against such research, had put the start of this study on hold. Geron claims the timing of this announcement is pure coincidence, but some analysts think it's purely political. Dr. Michael West founded Geron in the early 1990s and now runs another tiny stem cell company. What's at stake is not just shares in companies and market caps, uh, like some of us are quite involved in, but the welfare of the lives of human beings, and I, I can't even calculate that in terms of a market cap. Even though a proven stem cell treatment is years away, shares of Geron soared today on very heavy volume. Shares of giant drug maker Wyeth did the same thing, getting another leg up after CNBC's David Faber reported mid-afternoon that a sale of Wyeth to Pfizer could be sewn up very soon. And in a couple of years, Pfizer, the world's biggest drug company, loses the patent on the world's top-selling drug, the $13 billion a year cholesterol fighter Lipitor. It doesn't have anything in development to take its place. Wyeth has what some analysts believe is a promising and sizable pipeline of Alzheimer's drugs. And in the meantime, the combined companies could save billions of dollars together. A spokesman for Pfizer issued the boilerplate statement of not commenting on rumors and speculation in the market. But according to David Faber, this deal, Larry, could get done in the near term, maybe as soon as this Monday. So we could be talking again. All right. Both stocks were up today. So that's very promising. Yeah. I have a lot of moral problems with government research money going into embryonic stem cell research. But you're thinking that there's going to be a shift in that regulation, too. Obama's not going to waste any time repealing Bush. Correct, Larry, that President Bush, uh, as you know, had prohibited federal yes. funding of new embryonic new. stem That's cell correct. research. He's expected to lift that ban. There are reports as early as next week. All right. As I said, I got a lot of problems with that, but we're going to talk about it another time. Thank you for Here your report very much. Coming up.